Hello everyone, this is Crota coming at you, giving you game number one in a series between Colorful versus Hope Star here on Death Road. Colorful spawning as the yellow Night Elf player on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, on the top right, we have Hope Star spawning as the purple undead. Undead versus Night Elf in this three game series. I don't know if it's a best of three or best of five, so don't ask. Well, I guess you can ask, I just will give you the answer that I don't know until I come to a conclusion. Now, we are going to be opening up with an Altar of Elders, Moonwell, and an Ancient of War. I believe the Altar of Elders was built at the normal time, so I am expecting a Demon Hunter. Meanwhile, taking a look at his opponent, Hope Star, Hope, um, yeah, Hope Star, I believe Hope Star is opening up with an Altar of Darkness. I don't see a graveyard yet, so he should be opening up with a Death Knight and Ghouls. Interestingly enough, he did go, he does go ahead and train up this sixth acolyte in order to do a bit of creeping. Now, one of the things that are very interesting about this particular map is that there are undead minions or undead creep camps on the map, making it very difficult for undead players to death coil and try to steal these creep camps. On top of that, the skeletal marksman and the burning archer both become um, are both hireable, I guess mercenaries, so to speak, if you take them down. It makes for a rather interesting play as you are able to do um, or just creep out and get units as well. That's one of the, the additional benefits of creeping on this map. And the road is named or the map is named after this road is straight down the center of the map. I don't believe it goes anywhere though. So not like you can walk over on this side of the map and then end up on this side like the good old Pac-Man days. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at what's coming out. It looks like the Death Knight is making a bit of a move. It is going to be a little bit delayed. Meanwhile, the Demon Hunter, oh, Warden is coming out from Colorful as the Warden now is already on the move. Gonna go ahead and try to take down this 5-3-3 creep camp. Has to be very careful to not allow that lightning shield to get that final shot off there as the Ancient of War is absorbing a bit of damage. Now, the Warden is much, much stronger at dealing with early game harassment ghouls because of that Shadow Strike. Also, at level 2, she never really has to worry about getting surrounded with the help of Blink. Um, short of running out of mana, which most professional Warcraft 3 players will not do, um, she is always going to be able to get away from any of those rather sticky situations. Meanwhile, the undead Death Knight running around with five ghouls on the map already, that is significantly larger in terms of size of the army, 23 over 30 compared to 22 over 30, and that is because there's a lot more wisp on the field for Colorful. Skeletal Minions now looking to do a little bit of an engagement here. The Death Knight just trying to buy his time, go after these giant skeleton warrior creep camps. And it's going to be interesting if the Warden can really make anything happen at this time. The Death Knight is going to be able to just creep in peace right here, knowing that if he goes after this creep camp, he's going to also be able to regenerate all of these units while on Blight. So not only does he have the additional benefit of getting these additional archers he is also keeping his ghouls alive much much longer because of that 200 percent hit point regeneration however colorful is already coming in and has gotten a lot of harassment onto these unsuspecting acolytes and un acolyte may get taken down here wow it needs one more shot or one more tick is it going to be enough to kill him oh yes it does get taken down even with that 200 percent regeneration the damage over time was enough it did take a little bit longer than i expected as the warden now looks to back off all right warden did get to level two death knight is at level two as well running around with a burning archer and a skeletal marksman one has searing arrow the other has frost arrow making it very very strong for this undead now the moon wells are full i don't see a second ancient of war well nope there is a second of ancient of war off over here but it is not uprooted and nearby 26 over 40 this is going to be a very big hold out fight if the undead is just able to simply push no Undead is going to add insult to injury going after this creep camp here. And if it does go after that creep camp, it will in fact be able to... Oh, this is going to be bad news. All right, Wisp, is it going to get a detonation off? Yes, it does. Does it burn any mana off the burning archer? No, it does not. As this army is just rather large and is going to go ahead and grow straight after those skeletal marksmen again. 
All right, going after the Skeletal Marksman. Skeletal Marksman taking a bit of damage. Death Coils to get him healed. And this is an undead favored map if I ever saw one. Night Elf, Colorful, having a bit of a difficult time here. Does get one ghoul as the rest of the Skeletal Minions are still um, just rushing through a bunch of damage. Now trying to go and take down another unit here. There's a Shadow Strike. There goes one Skeletal, um, one Skeleton as the Burning Archers and all the units are still trying to fight through. Warden is taking a bit of damage. May need to teleport away. No Shadow Strike on that Warden available as all the units are running back. Death Knight with that Unholy Aura able to get in a lot of damage on these units. Warden trying to bait herself a little bit ends up getting hit with a Frost Arrow and is now getting held up once more. Warden is sitting at level 2. Death Knight probably at le yeah still at level 2. <clears throat> Will not get to level 3 here but is going to finish off these the rest of these skeleton giant skeleton warriors. There are still 3 burning or, or 3 archers to deal with and that is still going to be a bit of the issue. The Warden sitting at level 2 did use those Moonwells pretty or just drain those Moonwells already and now needs to find a way to get to level 3 to make that Shadow Strike really, really painful for all of those. What happened down over here? Where are they? Um, there he goes. All right, Rogue and Brigands are all down over here. The Warden is not going to get to level 3 off of this creep camp though. And what's worse is that the Warden is not going to be fully refreshed going into that next fight. Picking up a Cloak of Shadows is just 50 extra gold. All of the undead now rushing through here. Going straight after the Ancient of Wonders. Ancient of Lore is going to get focused down next perhaps as the Warden comes in for a Shadow Strike. And is it going to be able to get a Shadow Strike on any of these units? That is the big question. Oh, all the units now firing back through the brush. That was a big, big fight right there. As we may be seeing the second Ancient of Wonders being placed down. Goblin, a Tinker now being added as the backup hero. Very strange backup hero. Very, very strong. Oh, are we going to see? Uh, no, no Death Coil. At least the Death Coil didn't go off at all. The worst would have been if the Death Coil land or started but never reached its destination. Meanwhile, we are looking at the Ghouls now making a bit of a push inside. Is the Archer going to be able to survive? Yes, the Archer should be fine right here. Ancient of Lore taking a lot of damage. Most likely will end up getting cancelled as it is taking a whole bunch of piercing damage. Yes, it does get cancelled. No big surprise there. But the Goblin Tinker is just using those Clockwork Goblins very effectively. Clockwork Goblins doing a bit of damage. Meanwhile, all the Archers are attempting to take down the Pocket... Or the Warden trying to take down the Pocket Factory. All the Archers are trying to run away. And surprisingly, the Archers are holding up fairly well against the other minion or the other um, Burning Archers and Skeletal Marksmen. They're just falling apart to the Ghouls as the Ghouls are dealing normal damage. Warden now in a bit of trouble. Is she going to be able to escape? Oh, Scroll of Town Portal in order to get away. There is one Moonwell down over here still with something left and teleports back but teleports into a bad spot and gets taken out at level 3. That may be it, folks. That could be the game as we're looking at the Death Knight running rabid through this base. Two heroes to zero currently alive and Colorful does give the GG. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope Star taking game one on Death Road, a map very heavily favored for Undead. We'll see what Colorful can do in response. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game number one. Please stay tuned for game number two.